it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Oettinger. They're very kind of big with their lagers, Oettinger, especially Oettinger Pills. Really good beer. But this is something a little bit different. This is their export. It's a half litre bottle, brown bottle here, and the ABV is 5.4. 5.4% ABV. So I'm looking forward to this one. Uh, there's, there's a gold medal on the front here, so it's obviously done quite well. Um, might have won that gold medal 30, 40 years ago. Who knows? Uh, we've got a gold bottle cap. The best thing we could do is get it out into a glass and see what we get. Still struggling a little bit. You probably can hear it. I'm a bit nosy, a bit kind of like chesty today. But it's not affecting my palate whatsoever. I'm still able to smell and enjoy beer to its finest. So on we go then. I've got my German Hofmeister beer glass. Uh, we got a three finger white head, good levels of carbonation, rolling up the glass. It's a golden colored ale. It's very tempting to use the word straw colored. I use it a lot. And I just thought to myself then, well, rather than just calling it straw colored, because it really isn't that light. This is more of a golden amber coloured beer. It doesn't look bottle conditioned. We'll have a look now. We'll get the last little bit of beer into the glass. No, so it isn't a bottle conditioned beer. There's no sediment in the bottom of the glass. But it looks really good. Looks really good. Let's, uh, let's get that. The head is nicely retained. Looks great, let's get the aroma. Sweet malt. Hoppy, spicy, but biscuity. It's definitely biscuity with that sweet malt. More stinging nettle with maybe a touch, a small touch of lemon coming through. Yeah, it smells, it smells really good, really good. What I'm going to maybe suggest, and maybe I shouldn't suggest it, but uh, everybody's tried Oatinger pills, or I'm sure a lot of you have tried Oatinger pills. You can buy it in, um, from time to time, you can buy it in Lidl or Aldi. Um, it's, I think it's Germany's number one selling Pilsner. But I'm wondering if this is a ramped up version a 5.4% ABV, they've ramped it up with the malts, they've ramped it up with the hops. It's just a bigger brother to the oating of pills. I might be wrong, let's dive in. Cheers everybody. Really biscuity, a really biscuity, quite full bodied export beer. A little bit of carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. From that sweet beginning, there's a little bit of bitterness on the back end, so it's nicely balanced. But it's fantastic. It's a fantastic beer. It's really good. Really good. It's really full body. It's, it's really, it's a real satisfying beer. A real satisfying beer. 
And I've drank some of the beer. I'm able to wash it around in the glass. And I mean, look at the beer. Look at that beer in the glass. Doesn't it look good? Get that aroma. Stinging nettle, yeah. Loads of stinging nettle, loads of spice. Pepperiness. Full bodied. So I'm gonna talk about the stinging, stinging nettle flavor a little bit in this beer. So in the Darwin tree of life, um, we all know that kind of like branches out, different branches, different animals, different species of plants and whatnot. So you've got the hop. See the hop is branching off in that direction. <coughs> You'll get the stinging nettle that branches off in this direction. So it's, it's, all, it's a cousin. The hop and the stinging nettle is the cousin. Now, believe it or not, in traditional, probably German traditional brewing, they would have used stinging nettles before they came across hops. Um, it was very common to brew beer with stinging nettles many centuries ago. But you still get a, bit, a little bit of a sense of it, I feel. You definitely get a little bit of a sense of it with this beer. You get that kind of sense of maybe they've used, well, they have. They've definitely used traditional German, maybe some Hallertau, something like that. Does it say on the bottle? But anyway, apart from that, we'll have a look in the bot at the bottle at the moment. There's not too much on the bottle. <coughs> but that Hallertau, if they have used it, it's a, it's a traditional hop. It's not New World hop. It's not American hop where you're getting kind of grapefruit and passion fruit and mango. But I, th I feel that the hop, kind of very similarly tasting like stinging nettle, suits the beer. It suits the beer really well. <clears throat> so it's hop extract. Uh, Gunston malt, so hops, hop extract malt, uh, brew water, and Zutaten. Zutaten. So, what we got? Hops, malt, water. Well, the only other thing, so, so maybe Zutaten might. No, it doesn't. It's just malt, hops, and water that they've used. Pardon me to brew this beer. This brew is from 1731. 17, 1731. Absolutely staggering, really, that these breweries are, are, are so old and they're still going today. They're still producing fantastic quality beer. And this is absolutely fantastic quality beer. You can see. It's fantastic quality beer because I've drunk half of the half of the five hundred ml bottle already. What would I have this with? If I was in Germany, probably a pretzel. I know it sounds funny, or maybe maybe one of those big, long German Frankfurter type sausages with a with a beer. I've done that in the sunshine of Hamburg before now. Big. Frankfurter sausage with a, a big stein of, I think I was drinking Paulina at the time, but it's the sun was shining down and it was just one of those moments in life which was just fantastic. <clears throat> just fantastic. So I'm ready to rate it. It looks terrific. It smells terrific. It tastes really good. Is it the bigger brother to Oettinger Pills? I think it's a different beer. I think it's more, well, it's an export style beer. So you're getting much more of a multi body and a little bit less of a hoppy character. So it's a different beer. It's not like a bigger brother of Ottinger Pills. I like it though. I like it enough to give it an eight out of 10. Eight out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. You can pick the beer up from beersofeurope.co.uk, the biggest online beer store in the UK for beer. Ter terrific website. If you've been on holiday, if you've been away, if you've come across beers that, that you've tried whilst you've been away and you want to try them back in the UK, best place to find them is beersofeurope.co.uk. Thanks for watching. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up.
Boom. Cheers.